Donald Trump is once again in the spotlight for his alleged dealings with a foreign country. Now, in this case, the accusations involve Ukraine and a deal that could have given Trump leverage over former vice president and now presidential hopeful for Democrats, Joe Biden. Let's read Natasha Fata. She's tracking the story for us today. So uh, let's talk uh, about this story because there's a lot of moving parts here and really can be quite complicated. It really can be, Michael. So the latest is that Donald Trump is denying this allegation that a whistleblower has brought forward a complaint against him that he was trying to collude in some way with the Ukrainian uh, president's office. So here's what happened as we understand it. This uh, whistleblower is part of the U.S. intelligence community, and he has offered a formal complaint to his leadership within his department. All of this happened in August surrounding a July 25th conversation between the president of the United States, Donald Trump, and the president of Ukraine, Vladimir Zelensky. Now, according to the Wall Street Journal, they are reporting that Trump urged Zelensky during that phone call roughly eight times to help him help his lawyer Giuliani in this case that they're building against Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden. And some promises were made. What exactly those promises promises were to Ukraine remains unclear. And Giuliani was then pressed on this issue on CNN. So on CNN, Giuliani said that what they were asking Ukraine to do was investigate wrongdoing, saying that when Biden was a vice president of the United States under the Obama administration, he was trying to get a Ukrainian prosecutor fired because that prosecutor was looking into a bribery scandal involving his son Hunter's dealing in Ukraine. If you were able to keep up with all of those twists and turns, thank you. And the point of all of this is, is that the allegation once again popping up is that President Trump now, not candidate Trump, President Trump is trying to work with a foreign entity to try and leverage some power in the upcoming re-election campaign. So here's how the president handled these allegations yesterday. I don't know the identity of the whistleblower. I just hear it's a partisan person meaning it comes out from another party. Uh, but I don't have uh, any idea. But I can say that it was a totally appropriate conversation. It was actually a beautiful conversation. Trump also says that he would never jeopardize American security or national security by giving inappropriate, too much information to a foreign entity. So again, the accusation here is that President Trump tried to use a foreign country to gain information that would be used against Joe Biden in a re-election campaign. So what's the reaction been like to all of this? Well, from Joe Biden and his son... Hunter Biden, they have both denied the allegations. They both denied what President Trump is accusing them of. And last night, Biden, Joe Biden, issued a statement, let's bring part of that up, where he says, if these reports are true, then there is truly no bottom to President Trump's willingness to abuse his power and abase our country. This behavior is particularly abhorrent because it exploits the foreign policy of our country and undermines our national security for political purposes, those purposes being President Trump's, presumably. Now, the whistleblower complaint that was submitted is not being offered up to Congress. So naturally now the Democrats are very frustrated with that. They said we can't move forward because they want an investigation until we know what exactly the complaint was, what exactly got this whistleblower concerned about the president's conversation with Zelensky back in July. So still lots of information that needs to be unpacked in this very, very twisty, turny story.